C2E2 heads to McCormick Place this weekend. It's the Chicago Comic and Entertainment Expo. Big celebration of pop culture. And Vincent Zerzolo will have a booth there. He joins me. Vincent, it's great to see you. Great to meet you. How are you? Great to be here. Thanks so much for having me on. I cannot wait to get to Chicago. It's going to be a great show. What are you bringing, Vincent? I'll show you a couple of things I'm bringing. Oh, yes, I'm so, excited. Let's see. <laughs> all right. So this is the... The granddaddy of them all, the holy grail of holy grails. This is Action Comics number one, the first appearance of Superman. This is in a CGC graded 8.5 condition. This book will be up for auction on ComicConnect.com, my auction company, starting August 29th and will be ending the week of September 19th. This is one of the premier books in the auction, and this will be starting at $1, and it will go from there. Okay. ComicConnect.com. Hold on, Vincent. How, we were talking about this earlier. How much is that comic book worth yes. or has it so sold this for it? go ahead yeah. in this condition this comic book is restored it has been professionally restored it's worth somewhere we're going to see but i we estimate somewhere around four hundred thousand dollars <laughs> to give you some context if it was unrestored this comic book would be worth close to five million dollars that's incredible i mean that is that i got is, more yeah oh, show me what else you got we all love superman but we also all love batman this is batman's first appearance in Detective Comics 27 in a CGC graded 7.5 condition. Also, it'll be on display it, at C2E2, uh, and this will be in our auction as well. Now, keep in mind, when we're at C2E2, we're going to be buying. We want to spend millions of dollars on comic books and collectibles. So if you have anything, call us at 1-800-229-METRO. We're ready to buy. We're going to be there with cash in hand. Hey, you got to share your story for a second here because you started as a kid you were outside Wall Street selling comics to traders to make money, right? Yeah, so I, I've loved comic books since I was a little boy. And when I was 15 years old, I started buying and selling. And I went, did this all through high school and college. And when I got out of college in 1993, I was selling on the streets of Manhattan. I would drive in, set up two card tables, eight boxes of comic books, and all the guys walking out of the financial district from Wall Street would come on by. I was on Broadway between John and Maiden. And I had such a blast there. I would sell comic books every day. I would leave around three o'clock when things slowed down, drive back to Rockaway Beach where I grew up, and join my friends playing volleyball on the beach. It was a great time. And now you're handling millions of dollars worth of comic books. Tell me what you got there. This is the first Marvel comic book ever made. Wow. This is Marvel Comics number one. This is from 1939. Wow. It's a CGC graded 6.0. It's from the Kansas City pedigree. We are auctioning off a complete run of Marvel mysteries. It's an incredibly rare comic book run. And this is one of the prized possessions for anybody. To give you some context, we sold a higher grade copy earlier this year for $2.4 million. Oh, man. So you started, we're looking at some of these that are anyone's dream to have. But you also have advice for investing in, oh, that's the X-Men one. That's a good one. I even know that. And I'm not yeah. a huge comic book guy. Tell me about that. So this is the first appearance of X-Men. I remember listening to an interview with Stanley. Originally, he wanted to call them the mutants but it sounded too uh, evil, the publisher said, so they changed it to the X-Men. Uh, and there you have Magneto and the original X-Men team, and Professor X is you know, the, the leader of the team. Um, this is one of the highest grade copies in the world. This will also be auctioned. This could break seven figures. This is the big one. Check that out. Oh my gosh, just to hold that would be really cool. Some people might have 100, 500 bucks. Like, oh, you can, you can, spend any sort of money not on that because i know how much that is but for the for people just wanting to start vincent like you did it's possible right absolutely there's a comic book for every budget and there's a budget for every comic book you can start off with 50 bucks and parlay that over time and just take it and churn it out um i look at comic books as a great place to learn entrepreneurial uh skills and to buy and sell and trade and uh, work your way up. I, I started with Dollar Comic Books, so I'm a living proof that you can do it. Amazing fantasy Spider-Man right there. That's it, this is the first Spider-Man. This actually is for sale right now. Might be going into the auction, but it's for sale right now at $325,000. It's incredible. Can people meet you? Are you coming in person? I will be there in person. I'm flying out on Thursday. Here's some cool books. Okay, no. Batman number one, the first appearance of, oh sorry, the first appearance of the Joker and uh, Catwoman, and Superman number one, which uh, has the first four stories from Action Comics in it. These are going to be up for auction too. It's, it's these are the types of things you don't really get to see very often. 
when we come to the conventions, we really want to wow people and show them stuff that's just well, that's incredible. Just, that's just it, is you see them on, on, on your screen like we're watching now. Rarely do you get to hold them like you're doing, uh, well protected uh, and, and taken care of. Uh, real quick, because we, we got to go, uh, where can people, if they want to purchase these or invest in any of these, uh, tell them where they can find you or how they can get involved in some of these auctions. Go to ComicConnect.com. You can sign up today. You can be bidding with us before you know it. We actually have auctions going on today, tomorrow, and Thursday. And ComicConnect.com, MetropolisComics.com will be set up at C2E2. We're going to be there to talk comic books and collectibles and buy, sell, trade. Come by and say hello. It would be my pleasure to talk to you about comic books. One last, one last question. Him, does oh, yeah. he have security? Yeah, of, yeah, do you have security? <laughs> Cheryl, my <laughs> co-anchor wants you to know. You see these guns? <laughs> I don't need security. <laughs> I mean, he's talking hey, half no, a million have, dollars. We have, we have plenty of security. Here's the first fantastic car <laughs> before we go. I, know, I want to ask you before we go, your yeah. most prized yeah. comic book ever. Yeah. Your prize or the For most. Me? Yes, you personally. I happen to have an amazing fancy 15 in CGC graded 9.4 condition. Spider-Man's my favorite hero, so this is my favorite comic book. It's in perfect shape, and this was a book I bought about 20-some-odd years ago, and it was for me. I said to myself, when I'm ready to retire, that's when I'll sell this thing. That's kind of, it's worth what, a couple mil? At least a mil. Or at least two million right now. <laughs> oh, Vincent Zerzolo, we appreciate your time. Really a pleasure to talk to you, and thanks for showing us so many just priceless comic books. Uh, your energy speaks volumes and, yes. and you're, you're a great representative of the larger comic book community, man. Thank you very much. It's been my pleasure. I had so much fun. If we'll see you in Chicago, come by ABC7 in the studio. Bring one of those comic books just so I can touch it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Make it you out got of it. Yeah, thanks. Uh, incredible, He's gonna right? He's going to spin his web. Yeah. Shh, shh, shh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> those <laughs> are, so, and you look at the gradings because he was talking. Right. He was showing 8 us. 8.0, 9.4. Yeah, he, he was showing us some that are still very expensive, but they're the lower grade. And then you get into the 8s and the 9s, and it's next level life changing savings and investing. It's I'm going to go look in my incredible. parents. Homes. Yeah, what, I, what, Lee, I know closet. you're a comic book, not a comic book guy, but I know you know a lot about uh, our floor directors. You know Stan Lee. Oh, you knew Stan Lee. Oh, that's yeah. right. Did he ever give you a comic book? No, I didn't know who he was originally. Oh, you didn't? You didn't know who he was? <laughs> and, and then after talking with him, I found out he used to hang out in the magic shop. The magic uh, shop here in Chicago, Stan Lee. Yeah, our floor director, he Knows doubles lot, as a magician, yeah. you know, when he's not working here. You know, he's, he's, you know, hung out with all of the top magicians in the world. He's got he, a lot of movie memorabilia. Yeah. We, we should but Lee didn't get a comic stuff. book from Stan Lee, though. He didn't do that kind of well, magic. Well, we were talking, not, a lot of us, and I had a stack of comic yeah, books in, in my closet, and you just wonder now what, what you had. Well, you just visit your mom yeah. in Texas. No, she, she got did, rid of all that stuff. Don't even get me started. And my Star Wars <laughs> stuff my star wars stuff is oh, gone no. uh, but that's not like this that's yeah i don't even know if we had that i had the millennium falcon but that's a story for another day wow. did you have any idea those were worth that much money i did because collectors items yeah. are always those baseball cards the comic and you know we we had some co-workers who were really into the comic book i learned a lot from that and this is going to be the funnest event and they dress up yeah, that expo is awesome. Yeah, so if you're not a comic book person, even, you just to yeah, go have fun. Just to, I mean, the energy, like you said, I is to see those in person. Well, I mean, you need to go. Cool. You're his friend, and he showed his, his guns. guns. His security right. staff. I like that security. <laughs> that. I guarantee they have extensive. I'm hoping. Security. I'm really after. And they what may not just let people touch yeah. them. They might be locked in through that plastic. Yeah. Right. You want to <gasps> smell it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't touch it. You'll get your smudges on it. You got your oil from your hands. Yeah. Just look. That was a good segment, Michelle. I'm glad yeah. we booked it. Thank you. It was you. fun. And yeah. he had great visuals, too. He so wanted Vincent to get through it, awesome. man. He was ready. Yeah. What you got? What you want?